Hello, amazing people. Today is a very special day. I'm going to change your life with one little secret that I wish I've known when I started into photography. The thing is, when you start into photography, you're overwhelmed by information. There's so many things that you want to know. There's the lightning, the camera you have to buy, the lenses you use, what type of photography you're into. Like you're shooting everything you see just to find your own way and your own photography style. But people, I know, is something so scary for all of us. What I have to say right now is the most scary part of the whole photography and being a photographer and I know a lot of you that are starting or want to learn are trying to avoid this I mean I wish I knew this before but the biggest secret to take great photograph number one is don't be afraid of the manual mode and you may be asking yourself what are you talking about right now well I'll explain most of the cameras nowadays have a few modes that you can choose from, which is aperture priority, shutter priority, automatic, etc. So what happens when you see this little light here, most of the cameras let you choose whatever mode you want to shoot in. Most of the people when they are starting, they think shooting automatic mode is easy because the camera does all the work. What happens? Um, the camera decided what's the best lightning, what's the best exposure for your pictures, therefore you get an underexposed picture when you have the sky in the background or vice versa. So people, let's not be afraid of the manual mode. This is the manual mode M. So what does this mean? It means that as soon as you have the manual mode, it means you have complete control of your camera, right? So why are we so afraid of this? I understand that a camera seems like very scary very futuristic stuff for us for like me when i started i was super afraid to know the buttons i just wanted to take great photograph but there are a few things that i learned through my years of shooting and by mistake i felt like i could have used this by the beginning the first thing is learn how your camera work people i can't stress this enough this is the most important part i wish i knew from the beginning i was way too excited to take cool pictures but i never pay attention to my camera and that's the worst part because imagine you're walking through the street and with your eyes you find the perfect shot the perfect light the perfect shadows the perfect subject you pull out your camera automatic mode boom it's underexposed you shoot again and it touches a little bit of the sky boom it's overexposed so in order to avoid all of this, you need to know what to change in order to get the perfect picture. The same picture you're seeing in your head. So there are three things that you really need to learn from your camera. Shutter speed, aperture and ISO. I will not go into details about this because there are millions of tutorials online. But if you really focus on these three things, how the three coexist together, and how to play with them in order to get the pe perfect photos, your photography game is gonna change drastically. As far as you know what buttons to change, you will get your perfect photo. And the second thing, people, nowadays, whenever you buy a new camera, if it's a starter camera, they bring you a kit lens. I bought a camera with a kit lens. Wow, I was excited, it was my first DSLR, right? But when I started shooting, it didn't look at all how I wanted to look. It was so weird. and. I didn't know why everything looks so flat it looks so nothing special with months of research and actually really trying to find out my own i realized that i just needed to buy a lens a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens 1.4 one of those two normally the 1.8 for either nikon and canon and sony they're super cheap and by super cheap i mean like 100 or 200 bucks new all right if you find the second hand it's super low and believe me with one lens only that lens it will change your whole life as a photographer you start seeing a depth of field which is which is what you believe is a good photograph before you know anything about photography so once you have the full control of a depth of field it's going to change your whole vision as a photographer you're going to start planning more shots like loving portraits like anything so if you're planning to buy a camera, don't buy a camera with a kit lens, if it's a big difference price, but buy a camera with a 50 millimeters 1.8 lens. So people, um, 
those are the very important things know your equipment know your camera once you control your camera once you have a nice lens to shoot once you're not afraid of the light and go out and shoot whatever light you have or learn to have a really good uh, exposure a really good exposure and that's what mostly in photography and filmmaking is the golden pot right like whenever it's perfectly exposed and well these are my little tips to get you started into photography to do it for real it's 2017 and by now you all should know how a camera works at least <laughs> um it's beautiful people just do it for yourself do it for your children like where i grew up we couldn't have like a video camera for example it was way too expensive and i don't have any footage of me and my brother and sister or my parents when we were young only pictures and pictures right um nowadays of course everybody's gonna have a million footage of their childhood every second is being documented by all these cameras and smartphones but it would be nice if you grow up and you can see a kind of pro looking footage or photography and it could be like a nice memory when you're older so I would love you to send me your work if you're a photographer. Maybe the next video I can do a simple review of your work, a constructive review, because I love helping people. I love seeing how they grow because I really didn't have anybody when I started into photography. I won't tell you to subscribe and like, I mean, do whatever you guys want, but I would love to see you all next time in the next video. And if you can share this video for more people to find it, and if you know somebody who just bought a camera or wants to learn, just feel free to send the video and, I hope I help uh, as much people as I can. If you haven't seen my work, in the description I'm gonna put my website so you can see it. I sometimes take pictures, it's not like I'm making things up. And I hope you enjoyed this video, I'm super happy being back. And until next time, everybody.